Welcome back to Foxy TV, episode 91. Back in episode 88, we did an episode on how to style rooms with colorful wallpaper. I guess you could call this a part two to that episode because this week we're going to cover how to style rooms or how to style a home with bold colored walls. The install you are about to see was on Monday morning in Springfield Lakes. Eva jumped in the car with Phoebe to head to the install to get some footage and then when they got back to here to the warehouse, she spoke to Phoebe about how she navigated styling with bold colors. Hey guys, all right, you might have seen that we've started a new series, Thinking Outside of the Box. So basically it's all of our tricky scenarios that I know that when you move into a new house, there might be things that aren't ideal or maybe you're working, you have a rental, um, but there's always properties that we're styling for sale where we're trying to distract from certain features or we're trying to help somebody with layout or we're trying to focus on different areas of the house. So this particular episode, we're gonna focus on working with bold colors. So uh, bold paint choices are something that your agent would have recommended to paint out um, into a neutral color. Sometimes you don't have, there's not the budget to do that. Sometimes it's an investment property and it's just not worth the return to get it painted. Sometimes um, it's really hard to understand and why that recommendation has been made. So other times, um, and a lot of the a lot of the scenario is we come in after an agent has recommended to repaint. Oh, well, we're not going to do that. Okay, let's do the styling. Styling helps in a couple of ways. It helps make a place feel bigger and more modern, but we also definitely help to tone down some more bold paint colours. So um, but then the behind of that, like the whole theory behind getting the styling in is how, how do we then use what we have to make the bold colors seem less prominent? So that's what I want to chat about today. Um, and if there is a simple answer. The biggest answer is artwork. So by incorporating the right color artwork throughout the rest of the house, so the, the one that Eva's going to highlight for you um, is property we'd styled uh, this week. It had a combination of red, um, purple kind of aubergine um, and apricot features throughout the house. So it wasn't on every single wall, it had a combination of a, a beautiful neutral um, and then we had uh, selected feature walls that had these bolded choices on them. Uh, the kitchen was beautiful and neutral, we had timber flooring, um, everything else was great and it, it's, not a, it's not a bad option and the, the, client, the clients loved it and it did come up beautiful, the styling. It's just that we, um, by painting them all to neutral, you don't segregate a certain um, area of the market that can't see past those bold walls. So what did we do? We have bought in very neutral furniture. There is nothing, there is no colour that we have bought into our, through our furniture. Um, even our cushions, they are still neutral. We've got a very subtle pink um, through a couple of them, but most of them are white and beige and cream. Um, the timber furniture matches the timber floor, so there's nothing that is competing for attention. We have then bought in um, the artwork, like I said, that complements throughout. So you'll see we've got the brass and uh, copper tones in the front, the formal lounge, which complements the, the pendant lights that are in the kitchen. We then flow through into the kitchen space. The artwork itself has tones of pink and purple on it to complement the pink and purple wall. Through to the media room, which then has combinations of all three colours um, in a beautiful abstract art. Um, pair of artwork above the sofa. We've kept everything light and fresh in all those three rooms to make sure everything flows. Then we go up into the master bedroom. We've got a apricot and a terracotta color um, in those two spaces. Terracotta is smack on trend at the moment, so it was actually a perfect color for us to be able to work with. Um, we've, and again, the bedroom's nice and simple. We have a very, very minimal pattern on the two of the cushions that we've used, but they, they are, perfectly matched to the terracotta that we've incorporated um, in from the, the feature wall. So the main points are use very neutral furniture and colours and, and finishings. And then in your artwork, use those colours from your, make sure your artwork um, reflects the, the bold feature colours throughout the rest of the house. They need to be a pastel version of your bold colours because if you go and get bright, um, bold artwork, it's going to compete against the, the artwork. So that's the biggest key is make sure that what you bring in and what you have in your home doesn't, doesn't fight for attention against the walls.
Tuesday. Uh, today, the team had an install and a bunch of pack ups. I caught up with Jake for a bit of an update on how November went and how the rest of the year was looking. Yeah, it was another pretty big month actually. We did about the same number of installs as we did um, for September and October, so a big three months of spring, which is kind of what we usually expect. Um, warehouse is pretty empty. We managed to keep most of our stock out for the whole time and um, there's a few periods in there where we got very tight on a few bits and figured out a little bit more shopping, which is, I guess, good. It increases our inventory. Um, we're kind of at the point now in the beginning of December where we're seeing still some work, still some installs, um, but the numbers looking forward are, are a little down as we expect this time of year. Um, we're seeing properties still selling quite quickly, so the, the pack ups are coming um, most days. We've got two or three pack ups happening. Um, so, really, for the last few weeks of the year, we're expecting the warehouse to fill up as, as, as those properties come back. Um, and we'll just keep getting whatever installs we have, but we're, start, we're starting to look forward now to January as well. So January is looking pretty busy. December will be busy with pack ups and um, yeah, we're not really feeling like there'll be much of a downturn other than, um, or much of a break other than really that one, one and a half weeks over Christmas. And that's it for this week's episode. It's all I could fit in as I'm taking a few extra days off this week. But I hope you found the main topic of styling with bold colors informative. If you've got questions, comments, or feedback, as always, you can leave them in the comments section below. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and we will see you back here next week.